Women may say they don't like nice guys, but this is a lie. Guys may say you should become an alpha male or bad boy. This is something that you should avoid. I am a nice guy, I am. But it's just I don't allow myself to be inauthentically nice. Let's think about what women say to you. They say that they want a guy who is nice. Like, you know what? I want the guy who is nice to me and he treats me well. And they bring that guy into their life, they do. And in dealing with him in time, they start to feel that I'm bored. Like, what is it about this? Like, I thought he was gonna be much more than this, or am I, is it, am I wrong for losing interest? And they start to unconsciously do things, try to feel different things around him. And what that's wiring them to feel is that it's probably just I don't like these type of men. I don't like men who are always there for me. I don't like men who always are trying to show me affection. I don't like this because it just, at some point it becomes too much. And then she started going through the phase where she feels like, I want something different. I've dealt with guys who continuously show me affection who are overly showing me that they're interested, overly showing me that they care. And I felt smothered and I felt like I wanted something different. She wants something different now, so she's like, I'm done with that. Then she comes across some dude, or she sees it, and he's acting in a certain way, and she feels a bit excited by it. And she feels like, this is very different. This is not like what I was normally getting. This is very different than the status quo of what I've been handed in my life. And then she feels like in a moment, like, oh, he's such an asshole, but why am I so attracted to him? That's where her confusion comes. She's like, I'm so attracted to this guy, and he's she's like treating me in this way. I don't know what it is. And her not wanting to be in logic too long, she's going to roll with her feeling. And her feeling is going to tell her that this is the guy that you want in your life. This is the guy who's going to give you the different experience. Then that girl, she starts to date guys who quote unquote are asshole or she starts to have sex with guys who are that. And she enjoys it and it feels like a thrill. But then she notices something as well. She notices that his aloofness, his I don't careness, his I can get any girl arrogance. She, noticed, she notices that she doesn't want that long term either. But this is more exciting than just trying to always be smothered. This is more exciting. That actually will feel to her like her balance. The guy who is an asshole will feel like her balance because she's the one who's like the caring, affectionate one. And she's like, I want someone who just makes me feel adventure and I want something different. Because she can feel that her heart is actually craving some, for, some, for something else than just the, 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 the side of uh, love that's just so loving and sweet and soft. She's like, I want the side that's a little bit hard and, and that's aggressive and you know, makes me feel something and alive and free and wild. She wants that she will feel like that is her balance. And she'll continuously attract guys like that. She will. But the reason why I tell you about women who say that is because it is not sustainable. It's not. At some point, she will become in the place of, you know what? 
I want somebody who cares. She'll start to go back there. She's like, I want him to, you know, have the adventure and stuff, but I also want someone who cares. And this is when a woman has started to grow up. Something like I gotta tell you, most women never come out of that phase. They don't. They will get those type of guys until the end of time. But there's some women who wake up. There's some women who go, I want the guy who can be, you know, the bad boy type of guy and the guy who also can be nice. They wake up and they say that. But guess what? Most guys aren't those. Most guys are just one side or the other. And because they get so much shit about being nice, they start to feel that women just don't respect and don't like nice guys. They just like, they don't like it and I don't want to be that. I don't want to be the nice guy. I don't want to be the guy who's being nice all the time. And he's lost. Not because he was given the right advice, he's lost because he was given the wrong advice. He doesn't know, like, is it possible for me to be someone that is nice, but at the same time I don't have to be an asshole or bad? Is it possible for me to be like that? And everyone tells him, no, 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 no. Being nice is the wrong thing. So his whole life, or women, or he, when he hears women say that, his whole track will be, I'm trying to get away from even hearing that at all. And I tried this as well. This was something that became very important to me, was not being someone who was, quote unquote, the nice guy. And I tell you this, any woman who tells you that she doesn't like nice guys is lost. She is. She is absolutely lost because she is not understanding that it is okay for a man to be nice. It is okay for a man to be sweet. She doesn't always have to go for the guy who quote unquote is the bad boy, the asshole. She doesn't always have to go for that to be her balance. She doesn't always have to seek wildness and adventure in that way. That she can have both sides, but most women have never ever been brought both sides. So they don't know that it's possible. They just know that there's either one side or the other. And then that takes me on into telling you about this whole thing around being the alpha male or being the bad boy. How this goal is also spoken by those people who are lost. I continuously hear coaches saying, and I continuously see stuff that says alpha male and that says bad boy. And I'm like, this is the most misleading advice that a man can give another man. One of the most misleading advice things. Yes, it's okay to encourage a man. It's okay to tell a man that, you know what? You can be something other than nice. It is okay to encourage a man to be that. But when they're constantly saying that, you should be an alpha male, or you should try to become the leader of men, or these things like this. Or when they say, no, don't be the nice guy, women go for bad boys. And I go, that is the most misleading and lost man to even teach that. Because he's scaring you away from being a nice guy, not leading you away or guiding you away from that, or letting you know that that's okay. He is scaring you away from it by saying that women don't want this. I remember when I first got into this and something that was very important for me was understanding how me myself was alpha, how me myself was a bad boy. Like, did I have these, these traits? Because I saw so many things out there and I was trying to figure out, you know what? What is the way for me to be able to be the most attractive version of myself. This is the way that I was thinking about it because this is how men will come into this. They're like, how can I be the most attractive version of myself? And then it continues to see being a bad boy and being an alpha male. They continue to see that and they go, I must take on these traits. I must take on these traits. 
and they really, really excited and they're looking at the video and they're like, all right, so a bad boy, he's somebody who's detached. He's someone that's aloof. A bad boy is someone who is, who doesn't care about what people think. An alpha male is someone who's a leader of men. An alpha male is someone who is able to speak his desires and, and to be honest and authentic in himself. They have all this and they go, I want to become all of this because this is what women want. And I thought the same thing. I was thinking because my initial track was, how can I stop being someone who gets walked all over all the time? How can I stop people pleasing? How can I be strong as a man? This was my initial search. But then I started seeing these things like being an alpha male and being a bad boy. And I became so interested in it because I just didn't want to be in the place I was in before. So I became so interested in what the new thing was. And this is what you may notice with yourself is that you probably became very, very interested in the new thing that wasn't you before. Like me, I was so interested. I'm like, you know what? Me being someone who is an alpha male, a leader of men who can control things and that can uh, speak the way I want to feel, cannot care what people think, me being like that, that is exactly, it seems like a description of the place internally that I want to be because it feels like power. This is what I thought. I want to be in a place that feels powerful. And that seems like the place on the inside that I want to get to. It's the closest description of it. Or, and sometimes it was like, that's exactly what I want. I want to be the one who can speak in this way, that can walk in this way, that can look at somebody in this way. I want to be that. But I didn't know that that was misleading and lost advice. It really was. It had a good intention behind it. It does. It has a good intention behind it. But anyone that I see who's a quote unquote calls himself an alpha male or who feels like they're a bad boy, if I see them, in no way would I feel like that's the guy that is just like the fucking epitome of what women want. I don't look at him and, and say that. Any guy who feels like he's a bad boy or he, you know, he, could, he wears this or he talks like this and he acts like this, I can see right through that. That is a facade. I can see right through that. Because that's not what real power is. That's not what it means to actually be masculine. That's not what it is. Your thing is I want to be masculine. That's what you're going into. But the way it's been framed is alpha male bad boy. That's the way it's been framed. And to let you know, you're already masculine. That's why I don't, that's what I, I don't do masculine videos anymore because I start to see through my own things. But that's what you're really after. How can I express the parts of myself that I'm afraid to express? And as you do that, naturally masculinity starts to pervade through you. More stillness starts to come into play. You naturally start to become more silent. These things come as a part of letting go of unnaturalness, letting go of what you're afraid of. But it's not something for you to go, you know what, to be an alpha or to be somebody who's very powerful, I need to become the leader of men or I need to be someone who doesn't care what people think. Through getting through your fears, over your fears, you naturally will stop caring what people think. Naturally, because you're not interested in the moment putting your energy in other places. You're, in you're interested in keeping your energy here. Because when you care about what people think, your energy goes out this way instead of on what you want it to be on. Stop allowing the lost man of the world to just tell you that you should be a bad boy or you should be an alpha male. It's the most misleading fucking advice and also actually the best advice, but it's the most misleading. The best advice because it's letting you know that there's something else that you can be that too much of what you're doing is making you unattractive. That is the only thing about it that they're right about. That's the only thing. Otherwise, it is lost information given by somebody who's trying to make you become something else.
They're trying to scare you away from nice guy into bad boy or scare you away from nice guy into alpha male. They're trying to scare you away from it by saying that women don't want nice. Notice the way that I speak to women. Do you think that I'm an alpha male? Do you think that I'm a bad boy? Listen when I go up, I say, excuse me, my voice is very, very soft and gentle. It is. I'm not interested in trying to be a nice guy. I mean, not, not a nice guy. I'm not interested in trying to be a bad boy or uh, alpha male. But the woman is very interested in me. Why is she interested in me? But you don't see me as like powerful as some guys who go up. Like if you look out there in the community, there's some guys who walk up to women and they walk up very powerful. Like just empowered. They're like, excuse me. And they're like the way they do it, they know that they're, you know, they're trying to project power and let her know that, you know, I'm here to say something. Notice that. Don't be so lost to just only see a guy talking to a girl and go, he's an alpha male. Notice that he is making his voice loud. Notice that when he's trying to be alpha, that he's trying to be too aloof. That he's always trying to come up with the next fun thing to say. That he's trying to always be in control of the situation. This is the main thing you see. A guy trying to control it the whole time. The girl says this, he tries to get up on her. A girl says this, he tries to get one up on her. Instead of just the dance, he's trying to control. This is the difference. When you're trying to control, when you're trying to be the powerful one, when you're trying to be the one who has the, the stronger frame, you are now in control. You're trying to go into the position of control. But when you want the dance, that's when you are in the complimentary position where like, you know that the girl's a compliment to you. You're not there to control her, you're there to guide her energies. You're there to be totally present to her. You're there to show her that yes, I do want you, but at the same time, I know that I can get someone else, but I don't care about that because I'm here with you. Both are lost. Don't let women who say they don't want nice guys deter you away from being nice. Don't let guys who tell you women don't want nice guys deter you away from being nice. They're distorting your view of yourself. Are they right when they say that being so nice or being uh, someone who is being nice so you can get some back? Are, when they say that, are they right about that? Yes. When they say that that action itself is unhealthy, they are absolutely right. It is. Because you're moving from the position of, I want to do this thing to now I'm trying to get something in return, but I'm going to mask it as being nice. This is the difference. You can be as nice as you want to be to women or people. Be as nice as you want. Give compliments. Say hello to people. Give money to homeless people if you want. You can do whatever you want. You can be as nice as you want, but is your niceness mask so you can get something in return? In the return, it means their appreciation, their good opinion. So you can get, quote unquote, the woman to go on a date with you. So you can show she can know that, she, that you're actually not one of those guys who are mean. So she can see you in a certain light. What is your reason for being nice? Are you being nice in the way where it's passed into the zone of manipulation? That's when it's unhealthy. That's when it turns into manipulation. That's when the being nice is inauthentic. And also, when the being an asshole goes too far, it goes into the position of manipulation as well. So even if you tried to become a bad boy, even if you tried, it would be in the position of manipulation. It will be going far in some direction because you're trying to show her that I'm aloof so that she can become attracted to you. That is why it's manipulation because you're using aloofness to, be, to get her to get, become attracted to you. You're using aloofness. You're not actually being free. You're not actually showing her that I am free. You're going, I'm gonna play aloof like I don't want you so I can get you attracted to me because you know this. You know what's happening on the inside. Just like the guy who's being really, really nice, many of the times he knows that he's being nice so she can now 
go on a date with him. He knows it at some level. I express this to you because I give you the chance to actually see. I'm not fooled anymore because I can see now. And I'm telling you, you can be a nice guy. You can. But it's just when it goes into the arena of, the zone of, it being inauthentic. Meaning that you want something back in return for you being nice. That's it. I thank you for tuning in today and staying with me this long. If you've come to this point in the video, then let what I tell you give you the chance to think differently. Don't let anyone distort your view of what it means to be nice to anyone. My seminar is coming up in about three, three weeks. Yeah, it's coming up. And luckily, I still do have some spots. I do. So if you feel like, you know what, I want to learn more about this and learn more about myself in the actual way, this is for you. Also, I still have my one-on-one -on -one coaching spot open. It actually, one guy actually moved it to a different date. So it's fine. Now it's open. My one-on-one -on -one coaching spot in Berlin for two days is actually, it's open. So you can... Email me at TonySolo at TheEssenceOfMan.com. Sorry, my website is underway, and I'm coming along. Just give me some time. Scri subscribe and share this with anybody who you feel. This is going to help. I also, to let you know before you go, I have a free Meet to Bedroom series. It's going to be below in the description box, as well with the Berlin Seminar tickets. It's going to be below in the description box. And this is everything from meat to bedroom. How do you talk to the girl to how do I get her upstairs? Totally free for you. That link is right below the Berlin Seminar Tickets link. And like I always say, who you are is valuable for that which you want in life and in relation to women. It's just realizing it. I'll talk to you tomorrow. That sounds nice actually.